I grew up very comfortable on a lovely farm in the country. Our family had cows, chickens, and even two pretty silly pet alpacas, salt and pepper. When I was little, Dad let me steer our huge yellow tractor on his lap. It was thrilling. Whee! I'm on top of the world! Becca, when you're in the driver's seat, you can steer in any direction of your choosing. Always remember that. But when I steered us right into an apple tree... Oops, my bad. Dad banned me from touching the tractor again. Being independent and doing something new meant disaster and punishment. I remembered that. But after so many years, I was starting to crave adventure, though it scared me to death, especially since the girls at school would always make fun of my ripped overalls and faded sneakers. Look at her face. Was she scrubbing the fireplace? Nah, she's probably playing with her farm animals. They're her only friends, after all. They called me Beccarella. Like, Cinderella. It wasn't very original, but the name stuck. But things finally turned around one day when an exchange student arrived at our school from Germany. I had never met anyone from another country before. I loved that book. Isn't Mr. Darcy dreamy? He's so romantic. We became fast friends. Lena visited the farm and met my alpacas. We'd go shopping and stay up all night having sleepovers while reading about flirting in girly magazines. It says here that flirting is all about eye contact. Like this? Maybe dial it down a little. You look crazy. Lena was all about trying new things. Unusual foods, taking risks, visiting new places. I can't wait to see New York one day. New York? I could never. I liked comfort and predictability. When Lena asked me to try a German dish I'd never heard of before, I wasn't so into the idea. It's so delicious. What are those green things? Thanks, but I'll stick to pasta. I like what I know. How do you know what you like until you try it first? While Lena made a good point, I wasn't so easily persuaded into leaving my comfort zone. Sadly, Lena's time quickly came to an end. You have to come visit me as soon as you get the chance. But imagine all the fun we would have lost out on if I had been afraid. She was right. I promised. Then she left and I was sad. And I missed her terribly. Then something magical happened. Our principal told us that we could apply for a semester abroad in Germany. I was terrified of leaving home. But with Lena there, it would be way less scary. But when I saw how much the program cost, my eyes practically popped out of my head. There was no way my family could afford that. But I made a promise, and where there's a will, there's a way. Slow down, Rufus. Stop tugging so hard on the leash, Lily. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your parents will be back soon. Should I sing you a lullaby? Ka-ching! Another knitted hat coming right up. My plan was working. I was making money. Germany, here. 